Okay, so here's an example of your budget options for video. This is just me with my computer using the built-in webcam and the built-in microphone. So this is a really cheap setup if you already have a computer that has this. Um, and, uh, you know, it looks pretty decent, all things considered. I happen to have a really nice plain background, but you could also just use a plain white wall or a sheet behind you to make it look really crisp. And this is a perfect way to capture content and capture experts on camera really cheaply and quickly as well. All right, so here's a good on-the-go option. This is me using the front-facing camera, which is the weaker camera on the iPad mini and the built-in microphone. Uh, this is a good option if you want to just record on the go. Uh, I will point out that if you're recording someone else and you're using the regular camera on this, the picture quality is going to be a lot better. Uh, I noticed the light sensor on this is a little more sensitive. I couldn't use the blue background without my face turning yellow, which was not ideal. Uh, I'm currently indoors using um, overhead lights. This light's a little harsh, as you can tell, but it's doable. If you're recording outdoors or with natural light, it'll look a lot better. But this is incredibly easy. I'm not using any fancy tools other than an iPad. And uh, obviously, this is another option that you have for video. Okay, so here's the bottom of the barrel option I'm going to show you today. This is me just shooting video on my relatively ancient iPhone 4S using the good camera, not the front-facing one. Um, th this is still pretty decent looking. I mean, obviously the lighting in here is a little harsh, but this will look a lot nicer in natural light. Uh, the sound is all right too, so this is a good option if you want to shoot video on the go, particularly if you want to capture uh, interviews or, or anything that kind of spur of the moment catches your interest. The one thing you want to be careful of when shooting video with a tablet or with a phone is making sure that your uh, device is stabilized so that the uh, image isn't all shaky. Right now I've got my phone propped up on a box of boxes. Uh, another thing you can do if you're holding it is to lean on something really stable like a bookshelf or a railing and that'll help keep your video from giving people seasickness. But obviously even using the kind of camera that most of you have in your pockets right now is a viable option for video.